and everything. Yes. All right. We are now live with our coverage of the NCBB BCS playoff semifinal number two between the second ranked Gal Duet Death Bulls and the number three ranked Duke Blue Green Devils. So we got Kazark with his lizards, Surge Tacos with his Chaos Dwarves. Number two, number three, winner goes on to play number four, Fayetteville, who won the other playoff game against Ottawa in a thrilling fashion. So, Undead versus Wood Elves. Now we've got Lizards and Chaos Dwarves. We've got quite a few people with me in the booth. We've got Einir, Archaean, Gark, Menno, Uber, Wog, Zedarog. Hyper usually watches on Twitch chat. Dash was earlier. I'm sure there's been more people here as well. This is the game we have all come to see tonight. Galadouet has a logo, apparently, which they did not, to my knowledge, the rest of the season. So perhaps the attention paid to them, got enough money from their alumni, finally paid for yeah, a logo. Yeah, it's definitely a money thing. So they had just recently enough success so they can afford one i guess of course you know this traveling around the country is really expensive for some universities it was all my all the character uh prodding yes the wonderful character pulls who decry any team that doesn't have a logo that they're gonna be at the bottom all right so. they grab a beer and i'll be back for some blood all right i assume Menno's not the only person having a drink or two tonight so let's hope we can all enjoy this game chaos dwarves on offense first which means we'll likely see the wonderful joey mendez junior bull centaur supreme carry the ball i know earlier people were predicting perhaps duke to win but i think the stat freaks the Fayetteville versus the Stat Bulls of Gal DeWitt would be a nice storyline as well. I mean, if Joey Mendes isn't enough, he's 7 4 4 9 Blodge. His tag team partners, Everett Polzin, 7 5 2 9 Break Tackle Block, and relatively close to his next skill. So we'll see if the mighty Chaos Dwarves can punch a hole through the Sorai and let the Bull Centaurs do their thing. A bit odd though, it looks like he's not going to block one of the three up top. Normal weather for this game as opposed to very sunny for the last. First block of the game, not much. Going to move the guard to assist, so you set up another two die on the Croxagor. Unless you're moving him to assist here for a block on the Saurus. Yeah, he's going to claw him. True. We'll see if this one does any more than the last. It is a knockout. It's a pretty good start for the Chaos Dwarves. Follows up to tag a skink. Still need to move somebody up here. There he is. Although you do expose the Hobgoblin to trouble, potentially. Hey, Gark is calling those lizards bashers. I mean, lizard men are a hybrid team, but they're certainly capable of bashing, especially the way Kazarik plays them. And then again, everybody's a basher compared to what else, right? <laughs> yeah. And what did he need? Like 15 blocks last game to win it? I think I so. Mean... Was it 15? Yes. 16, so he says. Nice. Oh. <laughs> So Joey Mendes has already crossed midfield. I think it took like three turns for our pro elves in the last game to do the same. So maybe a quicker pace than we expected in this one. Okay, he's a dirty player in the pitch. He's in range. We will see a foul on Carl S. Boozer. Seems likely. 
Oh, that's not the spot where I would put this one. You want a one it square should... forward for the assist on the foul, don't you? Yeah, uh, not one square, just between Hobo and the Charp and one square ahead. Hmm. So this rookie, Big Hat, is in perfect position to screen others and I, to support. I think it's fine, you're getting a plus three. But apparently you needed plus four, so ah, I mean, maybe you you're see right. It. You see it. <laughs> Hey, when it comes to balls, you know. Yeah, trust <laughs> the guy who actually throws some. Although I did throw three last night in my NBFL opener, which is probably a record for me. Oh, did it work? No, I did not hurt the Troll Slayer once in the three attempts, but <laughs> I had a bribe, so I was like, you know what, I need to do this. Yeah, having a bribe and not using it is like... You know when you not finish your your food, it just just a waste. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this foul, yeah, was also kind of a waste. And now, let's see if the lizardman can remove a hobo or something and maybe come back into the numbers game. So hopefully. Yep. Still got to get your skink away from the blocker, but. Probably can't pass up an opportunity to I guess it blitz the hound. And uh, you never know, you know, he can just luck there, get lucky. It's so annoying when it happens. Could double skull the opening and block. And the dirty too. players may be gone, let's see. Yep, yeah. he's knocked out as well. That's important, yeah. And now you set up a two die here with the skink, although you don't have a reroll in case something goes bad. <laughs> yeah, it came the way to wait up. Oh no! Don't do that! Ugh. Well, you're the champ, so... Arkayan's calling me out with three fouls, clearly <laughs> not being my record. The kink is a loser. To be fair, oh. Arkayan, I think I had at least one bribe in that game as well. And plus, your high elves, you deserve to be fouled every time, right? Wait, XCon. You're being excused of fouling 10 times. I hope it was not an NS NCBB game. No, it was an NBFL oh. game with my coin. Ah, okay, that's fine. It's a bit low for that. Now, <laughs> if, if it was an NCBB rivalry, it'd be fine, but the only rival I have right now is Oregon. And good luck fouling Oregon 10 times. Usually you can't get them on the ground in the first place. Oh, yes, good hit. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Somebody using the slash hurt a little early there, potentially. Oh! Of course. So this Soros is surviving the gang foul, the clomber, and the clomber before. So this Soros is really. He's a toughie. Worth his money there. Yeah. Okay, another clomber. How many clombers does he have? One frenzy clomber, another clomber. That's it. That's two. That's pretty good, right? For he did lose two of his blockers team. late in the year, so I'm not sure how good they were. I can take a peek real quick. But well, I'll... now they're just rookies. Gal DeWitt, show pass players. So, I think... Oh, God, it's hard to tell. Team page. He's got rookies in spots three and four, so... I think his past players were a guard and then a claw body blow. So he had a third oh. clomber, as you say. Oh, and he couldn't resist. He just tagged two Saurus, Saurai, Saurusel, whatever. <laughs> and he will eat blocks there. That's the mighty blow, guys. Just in order visitors. to get a no. king. No, whoever said that, there. stop. What? Not you, Menno. Somebody else tried to chime in behind you that they're called something else, and we're not going to acknowledge that in this chat. <laughs> yeah, or, so this is, is a really bad play there. I don't like it, even if it's an attempt to kill a skink. But I thought Blitz a skink is the strat. I thought that's what everyone does. Yeah, no, but, but if you have to tag those guys there, it's, it's tagging two mighty blow dudes, so... This is either a broken stall, he, he won't be able to do the same turns there, or he gets smashed, potentially. 
Let's see. In the best case, it's just a shorter attack than it could be. Ugh. I think maybe the Cirque Tacos... By the way, it makes me hungry every time I hear it. <laughs> Cirque Tacos is like... Oh, hmm. Uh, so this Sir Taco seems to be a bit overconfident with his bull centaurs. They are amazing, but yeah, they can be wrestled down by. Zidane. They can be so, taken down. They're they're mere yeah. mortals, despite all the hype we give them. But yeah, the only way Kazar can get there is if perhaps he pushes a blocker into the gap and then chains free Felton. So. He can swing so right around. now he can run the skings around there yeah one but... mark the ball the other marks the other bulls and tower and then he can either do the secondary push there or just a break tackle and he gets there with two go for it so he can't even get to the ball with 2d and tackle right now against the block trip. so if he wants it well, we'll see what kazark decides to do Mm. Oh, nice. He tried to chain push them both off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wolf saying that Garks players are clearly gods among men, and Surge's bulls are mere mortals. I would not have done that because now you will have one skink marked by a jar of. <laughs> Now maybe he can go after the ball because he needs to save the skink. Yeah. You don't need to save the skink. He's just a random guy you picked up off the street. He said, sir, do you want to go to college at Duke? And he said, Duke, that's my favorite program. They win all the time. And he said, all right, you're starting this game. <laughs> yeah, probably. But you don't want to run out of those dudes like early on. True. Let's see. But hey, the only dude sitting on the bench, well, waiting for his beer or something, is Cesaro. So, skins are doing fine so far. So far. I suppose we should mention that the only inducement would be two Bloodweiser kegs for the Death Bulls. Two teams very close in TV, unlike some of the other games we've had. Kazar taking time to figure out whether he wants yeah, to take a he shot. Yeah, he was counting. He was just counting the spaces, the squares, and he's doing it. Yes! Mark the other dude, and then the break tackle that will go for a 2D blitz. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI, you are right. So you just need a two, two, and two. Let's go, go, go! There's our two. Two plus is good. There's our Next one. Next two plus? No, it's failing. Ah. Ah! Spent the reroll for that. Okay, that's probably. It. Let's that's go. that's the play you had to make, though. Yeah. The skins are doing great. Usually they. Go out. <laughs> Much easier. Let's see. Now, interesting situation. Those charts are marked up in a way they don't get any 2D. Yeah. Not. Well, on the skink, there is one. But they don't get 2D against the Soros and cannot advance in the blocking scheme. So, in the end, it will be a blitz. On the diving tackle, push him away, and then just agility for his game. Oh, fuck. Yeah, but he does have tackle though. Yeah. Still just a two, yeah, I suppose. But as so I said, it was a short attack than it could be, so this was a successful destruction of a stall. As it was a successful touchdown. Indeed it was. So Duke will get the ball down 1-0 to zero after three turns. Dash pointing out in the Twitch chat that the new rules on break tackle break both of these teams. And uh, that's a shame because I love break tackle on my Sorai. Bull Centaurs obviously also love it as well. 
not going to be as good, so we'll have to reconfigure our strategies. No, that's one option. The other option is just, you know, butting your head against that wall, and in five or six years when a new edition comes out, hope it changes. Hmm. Maybe. Like, I think what you might have to do is, like, start taking grab, and, like, then you can move, like, you, you can free up your your guys more easily. True. I do love some grab. It's hard to take before, like, the third skill, usually, but... Certainly one that I What has like. happened? Why is Break Tackle a human blitzer thing now? What? It's like now it it's like it works like two heads basically now. Um yeah, it's well, no longer wait, I, I'm just based, not into right? those new rules. I don't have the time to just check every update and rumor update. I'll just wait until it's all out. I agree with that. And then some things will change, maybe some for the better, maybe some for worse. Um, but hey, Malmer will still win a ton of games. So. <laughs> it's like voting for a new government in uh, Mexico, you know? Like, you don't expect in it. <laughs> Only in Mexico. <laughs> 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 Who is talking, a gringo? <laughs> You don't expect any improvements, but hey, it'll be a, a new experience, you know? Yeah, definitely only Mexican. <laughs> yeah, yeah this, this, this change in politics, like a true change. In, uh, yeah, it's <laughs> not much of a change. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I expect a little more from our new rulebook than that, but remains to be seen. Get the kickoff here. We'll see where it goes. Nob Carson back deep. And we get a Blitz. Interesting. Oh my God. Now, Chaos Dwarves are an interesting team with a Blitz because you have the Super Stud Bull Centaurs, but if you send them on a solo mission, it's a little tough. They can be Blitzed down, fouled perhaps, just isolated. I can tell exactly what's going through the head of a Jorf right now. He's looking at the position of his clombers and he searches for a 2D thing on the sword. And then he will check the breakthrough, the hole for the bulls and towers. Hey, he found one. <laughs> Look at this. He found the 2D. That is a good one to go for, but stretching yourself pretty thin. Yes, not ideal. But hey, it's priorities, man. I don't know, his Blitz is so far on the sword, oh. I haven't done a whole oh, lot. Oh no, he's going on this side, I like that better, but it's the worst guy, so no, I think he will Blitz on Felton Cape. Oh. <laughs> he's going all in, that's right. And maybe he gets a bloody nose from it, who knows. See, the weird thing is... This is how Duke likes to play. They love being in contact and love punishing you. So this could work for the Chaos Dwarves, but it could also turn in Duke's favor if they start breaking that AV9, even if it is difficult. Also, Falcon Cable could die. Oh my yeah. god. This, this hobo was a horrible position. Surf's off! You know, the thing when you said that Duke likes to be this, the second you start trying hit and run tactics against him, you, you know Duke starts making calling you uh, ballerinas. They want you to be base to base. What's this? Eh? Well, oh no, we're gonna be base to thing we're gonna be base to base everywhere. Oh my god, yeah, Garth won't god. understand any of this. But if this player dies, maybe there's a merit. <laughs> Oh, Just no. a stun, no. but yeah, it's a little tough for Duke This here. could swing here brutally. The center is already already almost automatically a lizard center now, so let's see. Ugh. We'll see what Kazar chooses to do here. Now, I will say that despite AV9 being pretty tough usually, he did get like eight casualties against army earlier in the season. That's an orc team. So, we've seen Duke punch through AB9 like it's nothing. I mean, everyone punched through uh, army this season. 
<laughs> What's I mean, on the scoreboard, yes, but I don't think most people were averaging five, six, seven, eight casualties against them. I can double check real quick. Yeah, I didn't get I, I didn't get my cracks at army. I had to settle for air force and murder at, which you know. And that's your rival. Oh, oh, I threw a rivalry out there for army, but they decided no. <laughs> Hey, who wants rivalry with me? Nobody. Oh, come on. I'm already at my max. Uh, yeah, Loco, I've seen how you play in regular games. I don't need to add a rivalry on top of that. So, let's see. From those who are present in this chat here, who has two rivals and I'm, who doesn't? I near does. I, have, I think Roto I does. Two. I have two rivals. Zedorod does. I've been rivaled with Miami won. since our first season and with Navy ever since Aino challenged me and I was a like, YOLO. Hey, Amon's here. I don't think he is a rival, so why don't you get some nice cuddly chaos to be your rival? <laughs> Amon. Let's do another rivalry. We are already rivals in MBFL in the division. <laughs> or maybe you're just sick of seeing each other at this point. Yeah. I think Amon starts his season against Baz Monday night, if I recall. So there's a TD hopefully against Jack Gray, I guess. He cannot risk leaving him in contact. Yeah, my first assumption this is to go for the awesome Hobgoblin. Game. This is just... This university has a tradition of just doping the fucking skates. Just imagine how good he was before he lost the strength that he gained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just absurd. He will have this if he survives. What is it, a junior? Amon's paging Jim Fear. <laughs> he says, I think Loco is tired of losing to me. <laughs> huh? Who says? Amon. Oh. He says yeah, check in, oh, check in the general oh, chat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said hey, his noble uh, are uh, giving it to your chaos son now. What's the what's the what's the uh, meme? Bold words from a man within fouling range. Is by that logic, that meme? no one would be saying bold words to me, because I will ha I happily foul as max as possible every game. Uh, <laughs> still don't think you foul as much as you, Nam. Mm, nobody. I think there's a season where UNAM averaged over four fouls a game because One or two seasons, yeah. literally sure. every game they fouled at least four times and then the rivalries they averaged like ten. So the average went above four for the whole season. <laughs> how, many, how many national championships did UNAM win? Ooh. What? They got to more than most of us. So uh, quick question from you, XCON. Um, how much would I have to bribe you for a new rule come next year where uh, stunty fouls don't count towards fouls? Oh no, wait, orcs with goblins or what? I mean, like, I have I... lizards too, so I'm, I'm kind of liking yeah. this rule to be honest. Stunties don't, fouls don't count. Hmm. Okay, ghouls are stunties, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... This know. this is just forcing Mano to switch teams, basically. <laughs> I don't no, know. no, I will never. It's also no. it's it's also designed to allow me to abuse swarming and goblins and snotlings. Yeah, I was gonna like... say he switch it. He's gonna have to switch to ogres and you know oh, bring up the snotling no. swarms. No, I would obviously game the system, get some orcs and follows to come in. Why don't you Although, choose humans? You have halflings. Ew, ew, nah, yeah. He refuses to put halflings on his team. I mean, they're better than goblins. Hey, if they fall for free, yeah. That's not exactly a high bar, man. Right, but <laughs> halflings know how to cook. Goblins, I would never eat a goblin's cooking, I'm sorry. Uh, they might make the, uh, the fungus brew. Yeah, I'm not eating that. Well, there might be so, chunks while you drink. Is this fucking so boring or why are we talking half these soups? Um, is Sir Takas a bit stuck there? He's the one who wanted the contact. Huh. I mean, he can swing 
Joey Mendes around the top going through, a skink and dodging through. And then you might be able to set up a two die on DJ with your claw frenzy mighty blow. Problem is, there is really only one good threat against the ball, and that's Everett. Holtz in. Nice. He's one dying the so, Saurus and then going into a negative oh two die. Oh my god. He's frenzy trapping himself. Yeah. He didn't stand up Archer Rand. Oh my <laughs> he god. He said, messed up oh! well, re rolled it, and then got a both down on the one rookie Saurus. <laughs> well, Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, huh? Still, it's. Is that the case? A bit stuck, though. So, uh, so there's only Everett Paulton to do something against not Carson on distance. So if he tangles everybody up Ooh, and right. gets rid of gets Everett lucky Paulton somehow with or the controls GFI. Everett Paulton, this could be a touchdown. That could be big right here. Not to mention a miss next game would remove him from possibly Ooh. playing in the finals. Yeah, that's why. That's what I meant. Granted, yeah, that is know. just the extra. Decent skink. That's not Nob Carson. True, but a movement you, a movement nine skink is never anything to scoff at or take lightly. No. Yeah, but look what's going on on this pitch. I mean, the bottom. Almost the entire big heads are all the big heads are at one side. There are only two on the other. The other two are hobos, and Ooh, he hurt. has the speed. So Duke has a lane there and can work on that. That they can. Assuming the croc score doesn't bone head again. Okay, that's the spot. Okay. Random fact about Unam. What? Five games for rivalry games with Karak. He fouled once. What? <laughs> hey, shut up. Shush. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> the mighty Unam Pumas afraid of fouling the dwarves? What? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. It was not necessary to get a winning record. <laughs> then why did you foul everybody else? <laughs> why well, not? I foul think I else. lost. Well, then why not foul Karak? Hey, Zetero, Zetero, I lost one game against Karak, right? One, one, yeah, you lost one, we tied one, and you won three times. So, yeah. I mean, he was winning, so. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, you defeated us, and, and I have the worst foul record against you. Amazing. I have to change that. Yeah, but the thing is, if you're tangled up with so much guard and stuff, you you have few really nice opportunities. Excuses! Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. Alright, Croxagore boneheads yet again, which is pretty unfortunate. The loser, Clark Styron, I won't ever... I know Uber... Uber... Yeah, there he is, he's at the bottom. We have a lot of people in here, so I have to scroll down now. Uh, Uber had a couple opportunities last night where he needed the rot spawn to just move and mark somebody with his wonderful tentacles, and he decided to be really stupid twice. But... Hey, Gark is saying our rivalry is a lie, Shatterok, so hey, you please get this message out to the people. So don't be afraid. If you're a rival, you're safe from fouls. Man, oh, I am, I would I would happily love to see that uh, message go out to yeah. the world. <laughs> that message <laughs> needs to go out to the world. Let yeah. all people know that foul games is no chance of, you know, mass gang fouls of goblins. I am recording this, obviously, and I would like to mention that Menno was with me in the booth previously for a game, and I have a recording of him saying, and I quote, it is okay to downvote me. Menno hey, said wait, that wait, himself. Wait, 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 wait. There's context missing. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, it's Menno. There's, there's never any real needed context. We were discussing how instead of making the championship game, you only had to be a top four seed now instead of a top two because we have the playoffs. And so previously, when we tried to downvote him out of the top two, that would matter. If we tried to downvote him out of the top two now, he could still make the top four. So he said... <laughs> He is okay with being downvoted now, so just remember that next time we have our coaches poll. <laughs> I would just like to say that that shouldn't have stopped anyone from downvoting him in the past. I mean, let's be honest here. Yeah, it stopped nobody. It was just 
really a question of how far can it download. Well, previously, you could see everyone's votes because it was just in the Fumble PM. And so people would like copy and paste stuff or, you know, send it to me they privately if they were scared. Hey, Chad voted me for McNurgle and some dudes just cop copy yeah. pasted that. Hey, that's copy that's how all, real. all it took was the one semi quote unquote influential person to copy paste another <laughs> and suddenly everyone happened. That's how Oklahoma hey. got high ranked that one season. Hey. That's how yeah, Navy. That's how democracy works, right? Yeah, something that's, like that, that. that. That's how a bad Navy team got into a lower tier bowl one year. It's true. <laughs> I, I mean, they're all bad Navy teams, but I mean, not quite McNurgle's bad. But I got to the Killer Light Bowl just because uh, I was one of the first ones that vote. Wait, wait. Let's stay on the game. It's not the Cowboys playing. Um, who is blitzing? I don't think he took the blitz here. He wants to blitz with Rolo Chester, really. That's your game. Maybe. 1D. Okay, let's 1D with Rolo Chester. <laughs> Ballsy big hats. Both teams down to two rerolls already, halfway through the first half. Well, you know, you know the cast dwarfs, the world's the world's mo first multi-purpose push pins. True. Arkayan chiming in that Yunnan versus Maryland, three games, one one and one even split as he skulls the one die block, rerolls in the push. Twenty two total fouls in three games. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a place for the meme. Do I know you? What's MD? Maryland. Maryland. That's... Archaean's old lizard team that you lost to in the ah, uh, championship the, game. The, the, who was it? A skink? Yes. You had oh, Russell yes. Wilson, he had Stefan Diggs, if I recall. Oh, yeah. Man. That skink wouldn't die and ended up winning the championship game. <laughs> Bad memories. <laughs> Bad memories the from my guy. guy just here. <laughs> He's trying to get it out of his system. We'll see if Crocs no, no, his no, job nothing this time. was ever as horrible in this league as losing to Raskis Orcs. It was just such a fucking dicing. It was worse than the two dicing against Lizards combined. Well, one was not really nice. So. Yeah, it was blech. Yeah, when Braski's Orcs were on, they had a big senior team. That was one hell of a problem to deal with. Just imagine playing Gark's team in a two years from now when they're all seniors. Oh, no. I suppose they're all seniors oh, next season, except for his super catcher who's a year behind. Assuming super rat, uh, motor rat survives, so that's a bit tricky now. season with him. What do you do? You have to sideline squeeze it, right? Maybe. You cannot really. Yeah, switch around the other corner. You have to advance here. So the only I kind of want him. The only means. I kind of want him to move the skink north and set up a two die on the other bull centaur. But this was a good move because this way he gets Felton K Pal free and is part of the cage. I thought I would blitz with Cody Ko Cody Ko. But he did the other way around, and I think it's better. Good for him. If you get Nam to square 10 just like that, he is within scoring range, and he has sure feet. Yes. It's another name. It's just offensive. I'm always hungry, per se, and then I just serve tackles. Serve tackles like super tackles. I don't know what it is, a serve tackle. I mean, it makes me hungry. I like so, tacos too, but I made uh, DiGiorno pizza earlier and ate half of it, so I'd be ready to do two to three hours of Blood Bowl action. <laughs> like, the thing with me is I, I'm really always hungry. It's like, okay, I saw 10 falls. I can do it at 11, 12. Need more. It's a nice block on the Hobgoblin, but I, th I think you stayed put there and force... Well, no, it didn't better your spacing. There's a three gap there. It 
It's a nice dodge there from the skink getting out of trouble. Yeah. And yes, for the record, Unam has one title with an asterisk. That's a long story we don't need to get into. Get into it. Sounds uh, fun. Okay, well, there was a team that they ended up playing in the championship game one season that uh, after the season was over, somebody went back and looked and realized that quite a few players on the Norse team, that was their fifth or sixth season. Oh so my god. they weren't, like, they were supposed to be graduated the season hey, prior. Hey, my kids were playing against adults. They're really grown-ups who should be professionals. Look, what? oh my god. It was what? like, <laughs> it was like I come mean, on, how it, is this possible? It's simple. They were, like, they just failed cracking a down on college classes. kids. Those were, like, 13-year-old guys, like, super muscle and all. Those poor college kids, come on. Like soft zombies and, and fresh look, friends and stuff like that. Look, <laughs> th there is nothing wrong with a PhD student playing football. Uh -huh. <laughs> Unless you exhaust all your eligibility. No, it's not like bodybuilders. I, I think one was Schwarzenegger or something in his 40s. I remember I name. when I was actually at college and my friends and I would play just pick up football. Tackle, of course, because nobody's a pussy, although I would never volunteer to get tackled. Um, we actually had one of our guys like meet somebody at like a blood donation drive and said, they were like talking like, oh yeah, my friends and I play football. Why don't you get your friends? We'll, we'll play each other. And so this guy who's probably in his 30s has a bunch of his friends who are all in their 30s and 40s. They're like, you know, dads and stuff. They brought their kids to the game and we just met at the football field and we played tackle football against these guys and we're all like 22 and stuff. And we're just like, what the hell is this? Like, they were treating it like their Super Bowl. Uh, that was what was going on there. Exactly. Here, here yeah. I am thinking that story was going to end with. And then he showed up with the offensive line for the Cincinnati Bengals. Well, that, that's when I lived in Chicago. We played the I mean, flag that, football yeah, league and, totally. and it was a bunch of ex Big Ten players in a flag football game. And I think they beat us like 700 look, or nothing. Look, look. If he brought the line to the, to the Cincinnati Bengals. I like your chances, I'm actually. Sure that, I'm pretty sure the dads would have played better. Yeah. Look, we need some of everybody right now. Um, I want to focus your attention again on the game at hand. Look, something happened here, and it was a mistake by the tacos. Oh, it. Was it a mistake, so or was it just a bad dice roll? Break tackle Everett Holton, so he could just get in the back there and break up the stalling. Yeah. This was the most important thing in this turn. He should have got, gotten Everett Paulson in the backfield now. I thought it's, the most late, important thing hey, was all of us sharing our cherished stories together and bonding. But fine, maybe moving the bull centaur oh, was look, important it, too. This is some stomping, eh? This is quite really a bit of stomping. Bull centaur. <laughs> Joey Mendes, what have you done it's a to them? <laughs> it's a chorp. We, we, they all need to die. But oh, a living chorp, a living chorp is worse than motor than a li than a living motor rat um, every day of the week. I'm not sure anybody would agree with that, but no dwarf would. would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and dwarf, <laughs> and dwarf <laughs> lives don't count. See how that works? Yeah, they do. Oh my god, no, to say the no, thing, no. dwarf lives don't count? Yeah, dwarf lives don't matter. All dwarf. lives matter! <laughs> oh no. Except dwarf, and, uh, except dwarf and what else? Orc. Okay. No, yeah, orc lives matter. Long. Orc lives don't uh, matter. Yeah. Or, orc lives matter. Orc lives don't matter. God or lives. Yeah, the list is just long. So no, Duke no. has wiggled its way downfield <laughs> into scoring position. They have a chance here to potentially foul the wonderful Joey Mendez. No. Burn the reroll. Do it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, this was for the fans. This was really. Yes. Oh my God. This is beautiful. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Oh, will he do the block first? Oh, yes. Good one. And now follow up. Do it, do it, do, do it, it, do it. It felt like Gall Galliudet pulled back and took the pressure off last turn. A little bit. 
<laughs> Gark cheering for a miss next game. Aw, boom! No! Massive boom! This has to be the most massive pool of the season. Wow, 19 spectators. That's amazing. Yeah, and all 19 he just will let be all 19 down by not fouling Joey Mendez. Kazarik, if you thought yeah. people hated Duke before, we really hate you now. Go, go, do it! Go, go! No, no. I, I've never seen a game this. This feels like a major, like. When you have back to back to back to back crowd cheers and emotes and booze like this, it feels like a major. A lot of people watching. Star is never on the ground, Nelphine. What are you talking about? Also, yes, yeah, Surge cannot hear these crowd noises, but we're just booing our hearts out. <laughs> Apajar says, I can't, though. <laughs> got quiet all of a sudden. What? Did he uh, turn his volume off or something? No, Surge is uh, deaf. Oh. Yeah. Him and oh. Klaz, I believe, hearing impaired, so we're going to try to find a way to transcribe the game for them. Joey Mendez looking to make up for last turn by dodging through and around the prehensile tail. Class said he found a way. That's pretty awesome. And then Joey Mendez fails again, so now you have to foul him because he's within range of your ball carrier. Okay, so I'll just use the word deaf from now on. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, can we get like a chain stop going that lasts like three minutes? So three, hey, two, guys, one. I pasted, I pasted something in the uh, in the general chat. No one cares. It applies. No. Focus on what's on the field. Joey Mendez, the Super Bowl centaur, is about to be fouled out of his ex existence. <laughs> and then he throws a double skull before, just for good measure. And another one. Oh. Man can dream. Man can dream. But here's the foul we wanted. Will Joey Mendez be afflicted by this boot? The crowd goes wild. Surge knows what's about to happen. Joey Mendez is stunned, but no more. God. What a disappointment. So, you have to foul on turn 8, too, right? No, it's tie the score up. You foul and then tie the score up, right? No, not Zark. Oh, only if it was already tied. <laughs> so, you tie and then foul. Maybe if they were rivals already, or even division rivals, but... Look, you are Not so here. confident as Duke. You are the number three team of the nation. Everybody said this was a rebuilding year. You could not win the championship again after losing, like, four seniors. You're, you're going to win this game, right? Like, you have no fear of losing this game. So you go ahead and foul their best player. And even if you get caught and don't score here, you know you're going to win because you're big, big bad Duke, right? No. Anybody? Nobody? Maybe with a different coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from the way he played, uh, it's pretty clear he's not going to foul. I think Menno would do it. Right, Menno? Unless it's a crack. Both bull centaurs are down. Both bull centaurs are down. You have to foul. You have never seen both bull centaurs from Galduin on the ground at the same time this entire season. And instead, yeah, I would say he that... doesn't foul them. <laughs> As much as I wish I could see fouls, I have to agree with what he did. Guys, we're not here to see smart, intelligent Blood Bowl. We're here. We paid for blood. Exactly. He gets That's it. That's what I tasted. Right. 
we still want to get into that national championship game. Don't worry. There's an easy solution to this. Just never draft any of Duke players ever again. Um, as as punishment. One of Duke's players was the defensive rookie of the year, or maybe even the defensive player of the year. That was Dash's bull centaur, ye old stone face. So, yeah, don't draft a Duke player if you don't want someone who's a winner. Sorry. So, so basically, you support Duke's Dukeness if it, as long as it you know gets you good people in the league. Of course. Is that what he's saying? Yeah, like I don't care if it's his player, your player, my player. I'll even draft somebody from Navy if they're a good player. But Navy <laughs> doesn't produce good players, so I mean that's not, not true. We put out we put out actually decent blitzers and big men. That's true. I think you had five players drafted overall. That's not bad. I'm looking forward to next season to see what it becomes. So far we've had one out of one. Mark we're Andrews at 100%, never... We're at one hundred percent graduation or draftee ratio. Not quite the same as Carx ratio, where they have twenty seven out of twenty seven for hundred percent. But you know, I mean, mathematically, I suppose, technically the same percentage, right? Mathematically, Carx is equal to Air Force. Hmm. Technically, which is the you... best. Te it's technically correct, which is the best kind of correct. You know what you could do? You could retire Murder Rat. He'd probably get drafted. It's true. That's the plan. Next season. Uh, he's going to die next season. Yeah, so. might, might as well get it out the way and just graduate him just to make sure he makes no, it. No, he will live he, or he will, gra he will live and graduate or go down in infamy like Super Rat. I was going to say like the last one. <laughs> Although I would like to point out, Super Rat didn't get murdered. He tripped. Uh, he he rolled uh, stub, uh, skulls. Uh, he rolled snake eyes on a trip, and then uh, apoed into death. Death. Huh. So, into so death. it was his own incompetence. <laughs> yes, he was not murdered. He tripped, and then apoed death in the death. But the grass murdered him, is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. I think we need to like dig up that piece of grass, like a you know two by two section, and like put it on display somewhere. Oh no no no! Don't worry. That that piece of grass, due to warp stone fuckery, became uh, motor rat. Hmm. Because I, I that's complete horseshit off the top of my head, but that's now canon. Why not? Huh? So you must work for a Games Workshop then. Just pulling stuff yeah, out probably. of your ass. I mean, it's still better than the lore they've made the past few years. Alright, Duke on offense again to start the second half. Nob Carson picking up the ball again. Duke probably going to slow play it a little bit. They have the tie score. They have... looks like 11 on 11 still. But, because Duke hasn't gotten any of their Sorai out... I mean, that's huge. Like, going into the second half as a Lizard team, you expect to be down one or two of them, but so far, so good for Duke on that regard. I thought this was overtime. you got to be kidding me. Yeah, 50 minutes for the first half. That's that's only a little bit slower than the first game. <laughs> yeah, Jeffro and uh, Apajar played a pretty slow game for a pro off mirror. Really low scoring, too. Two to one in overtime? Granted... Like, it shouldn't have gone to overtime. Like, Jeffro had a chance to potentially steal it late. His player tripped on snakes, and then Apajar threw the ball to somebody downfield. Mm. He tripped into the end zone, so we went to overtime. And then Hawaii did what Hawaii does on offense and won the game. Oh, it makes sense now. Jim Fears just waiting to make his big entrance. That sounds like Jim. I think it's going to be hard to stall uh, against this team. I mean, your skinks are going to have to run back or something because he's got to be able to put a lot of pressure on. But we've already seen Joey Mendez uh, fail some dodges, so you know maybe he's going to be a little gun shy about sending him in there deep. Well, I mean, let's be honest. That was not the best part on 
you know, Galadet's behalf. I have him in tackles, even with Agility 4, I have him in the tackle zone of the Croxagorth Prehensile Tail. Let's dodge into tackle zones and then out of. I don't think he actually failed that one. I think he got away. But when you're Blodge AG4, Tail isn't that threatening. Like, even diving tackle is minus 2, but you don't have tackle to take away the dodge reroll, so it's still a 4 plus with the reroll. Yeah, Tail is only truly scary when it's mashed, masked up. Kind of like the uh, Kansas City and Thiefs it... in the NBFL. They have a Chaos Pack team at 3,040 TV, and I think they have like six prehensile Tails on the team. And that's that going away, scary. by the way. I know. I'm, not, I'm very unhappy about that. Wait, what's yeah, going I'm away? as well. Because Tails won't makes... pack anymore. It, it specifically no states that the new rules. Oh. It makes no sense for that to be like that because it affects no actual real meta. Hmm. So it's like an, uh, it, GW's stupid. Are they just trying to keep the math simple for dummies like us? I don't know. Like it doesn't make sense. I don't know. Get a blitz at the bottom here on an exposed hobgoblin, but. Not much doing. Could see a two die here up top on Everett Polzin. Uh, that was rude. It's a blood bull. It, I'll say it's a blood bull crowd. I'm surprised there hasn't been more belching. Uh, I just had a Kentucky Fried Chicken with a beer. <laughs> Good food in the stadium. It's good to hear. There's never good food in a stadium. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, the food uh, tastes fine. It's just no cost four yeah. times what it should. <laughs> yeah, they always have that one stand, right? That costs like thirty dollars or something. One stand. Yeah, thirty dollars for. One no, stand like the one that's stand that's good. That's it, mm -hmm. right? They have one stand that's good. I was gonna say, have you ever been to a game at the new Cowboy Stadium? Like, you get a hot dog for the left arm and a beer for your left eyeball. How much are those things right now in the U.S.? Tell me about the stadium at your area. Oh God, stadiums, they're too I mean, expensive. You're paying 10 bucks for like a soda and another $10 for like a hot dog or something or more. Just depends where <laughs> you go. But in general, they're trying to make all the money back from uh, paying millions of dollars to the players. Oh yeah. no, it's not even that. Remember, stadiums are mo uh, stadiums are mostly paid for by the cities. Tax, right? Oh wow, yeah, that's that's yeah. an asshole move. <laughs> oh yeah, you're... no, it's but it brings it's... a lot of revenue into the area. Not really, actually. Uh, a lot of studies show it doesn't. It's pretty much uh, revenue neutral. Well, yeah, they tried once to sell this crap philosophy to Innsbruck, my hometown in Tyrol, in Austria. For these, what was it? Winter games? Or let me get a football. Was it? It was the football, the Euro Cup, I guess. Some, some football crap tournament. And hey, uh, it was always the same argument. Yeah, yeah, it's just a ton of debt, but it will come back. It will, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You gotta and remember. We are, we're still sitting on the debt there. It's just yeah. What? <laughs> it's a, it's all it's almost always massive debt because the cities don't get any of the revenue stream. Yeah, and exactly. It's not the, the city that has the hotels. So what the fuck are you talking about? That the the average um, taxpayer is getting something back there. It's just such a no stretch. and and quite frankly, it, with the exception of the literally bars on the block it pretty much doesn't do anything and even then there's instances of people complaining because yeah there's client there's issues of if the sports bar they pretty much have serious issues in off season and if they're not a sports bar they have serious issues during season so it's basically a matter of in the end of the day they're pretty much neutral on a day-to-day -day basis, and they just don't get any of the be uh, good revenue streams. Yeah. 
just well, speaking. It's different in Blood Bowl. The pixels are for free, and the entrance is for free. It's awesome. All right. Do oh, there's a there's a gate every time, Loco. The what? There's a gate every time. You get winnings out of it every game. Yeah, you got winnings out of the game. <laughs> All right. Bloodweiser no sales, Cabal yeah. Vision. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, I but wish yeah, I could see some that's of that money. Trick. That, that's the trick. Those Budweiser sales go to the team owner, not the city, you know, that we totally did, you know. Is there just a know... huge gap there? Is it just... Yeah, there's kind of a gap just there right huge. where you threw that block. You block the locker up top there. You sneak Carson through. I don't know if he wants to, though, I mean, this early... I mean, that this team can score in, in two just as easy. True. We'll save our discussion of taxes and stadium revenue for another time, I suppose. I just wanted to throw it out there. One thing that always gets me is uh, a movie from the 90s, Field of Dreams. He buys two hot dogs, two beers, and it was like seven bucks. <laughs> what? In, Fen in, in what Fen world? In, in Fenway. In Fenway, yeah, right. God damn. Also, isn't <laughs> Fenway, like, literally 100 years old? Like, why the hell could they just not give up on that piece of shit stadium yet? I like I'm, Fenway. I'm talking about Wrigley, I, also, I, I, think, think. I think I'm required to like Fenway because I'm also a Cubs fan, so I love Wrigley. That one sucks, yeah. too. The thing is, Wrigley's a good field. Is it? it, it, it on, oh, yeah, it, you're it, right it, on top of the game. I've yeah, heard, Wrigley's actually a really good field. I've heard the uh, restrooms specifically in the old stadiums are just awful. Wrigley yeah, those up. days are gone. Hmm. Yeah, Wrigley keeps up with those stuff. Because they yeah. know that the fans come for the game, not for the Big team. One by the crux, because let's be honest here, this one. I, 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 as a White Sox fan, Ooh. screw the Cubs. I, I mean, am so glad I made you my rival. I would say screw <laughs> baseball in general, but... I guess no, we should... that, that's, yeah, that's more to do with Manfred than baseball itself. Look, no, baseball just sucks as a sport. It's when boring. I, when I moved to Chicago as a little kid, I was told I had to choose a side, and you choose I wrong. To... You should have chosen the Bulls. You well, chose poorly. You chose poorly. But you know, here's the thing: Chicago doesn't have two uh, NBA teams. They have two, uh, you know, I mean, uh, fucking baseball teams. MLB. Yeah, you yeah. should have well, chosen the Bulls and ignored every other sports franchise in Chicago wait, because they're all yeah. garbage. Have the Bears, the garbage. Blackhawks, come on, garbage. Yeah, I believe the Sun. I, the a hockey, hey. uh, soccer team's the Suns, right? Or the team is Blackhawks. Blackhawks. No, I mean soccer is fire. Hawks right. are the Blackhawks are hockey. Baseball, you have the Cubs and Sox. Uh, Bulls are basketball. Bears are football. He had some other yeah. ones. You have like the Wolves, which are like AHL hockey. Yeah, but we know the Sky WNBA. Come on, WNBA. Yeah, those don't count. Uh, Roto might be old enough. You know, I don't know how old he is. I'm not going to guess. But for a period of time, Chicago had two NFL teams. That I'm only 29. You were born in 1929, yeah. So you remember oh, the Chicago I, Cardinals. <laughs> I fucking wish I was that old. Oh my God. Be, I'd be living off Social Security instead of, you know... Actually, wait, no. Even if I was that old, I'd still be living off the government as I am now. I think you'd be, I that. I think you'd be dead. I have so many questions to you. I love history. Yeah, how was the... Uh, <laughs> the Second World? The, how was the Spanish flu? Them. Were people wearing masks back then? Because they don't seem to be now. I, oh, uh, I, loot too soon. Oddly enough, I actually have information on this because yes, yes, they were. The city of Philadelphia mayor uh, got in trouble with he basically ignored it and pushed a festival and parade during the height of the Spanish flu. Spanish flu, yeah. Yeah, that doesn't surprise well. me yeah. about Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah. Philadelphia is the yeah, worst no, city in the United States, hands down. Right, Arkain? Greatest city in the country, yes. <laughs> hey, what? I just, I, I just love it. Philadelphia doesn't wear masks, throws batteries at Santa Claus, has an, has you know a jail inside their stadium. They have a statue oh, of what? a backup quarterback jail outside their inside stadium the for their stadium. new quarterback to walk so by every please, day. Please, oh, well, just not perfect. 
Or you can go to the Dallas the Stadium and see the team win 50% of their games. I mean, yeah, but that requires yeah. you to go to Dallas. Or watch them every week on TV because they can't get enough of us because we're so interesting. Because either we win in the last second or lose spectacularly in the last second. And recently it's been a mix of both. Results wise, Dallas, since, since the, the, you know, 2000, have been about on par with the Bears. But yeah, to the hear the media and... say it, to, to hear the media say it, they're, they're a Super Bowl contender every year. Look, uh, you will be. never hear me defend the Bears. Ever. Because I'm a Packers fan. I mean, that... here's the problem, though. When you're the so Bears and you, you draft <laughs> Mitchell Trubisky of one year of college experience, not even good year of college experience, over Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes, one of those two is defensible at the time, oh, okay. your franchise yeah, was... should just be fucking awful <laughs> for the next decade because you deserve it. Okay. Well, the Cowboys okay, are I mean, riding the coattails from their, their 90s success. Yeah. Yes, we are. 30 years right. on, and they're still riding those coattails. Yeah, I can guarantee you the Patriots will be doing the same for the next millennia, for the next century. Yeah. It's true. Nobody in New yeah. England has any reason to really just live anymore. I said yeah. it. And then you're so not wrong. No, if I, if I had to live in the Mendes Northeast, is it'd be awful. The whole... <laughs> So, oh no, nope. please don't nope. quite call it. And this is a shot against Joe Mendes, please, please. There is the gap. No. You can take it. No. Yes. Blitz. Joe Mendes die. Blitz the blocker. You can blitz him into another block if it doesn't work. But then you secure the southern flank. Yes. I just want to see this. We, we had our chance. We had the foul of fouls. What was this message in the, in the graduation PM, group PM? There was one saying, okay, my franchise is retiring, I have just this graduate. And it's a block plus strength player. And I thought, this guy, I don't know how old his franchise is, but I never had a player as good as him. <laughs> <laughs> never, not once. I don't know. I think UNAM had some pretty good players. A few of them no, are in the no. pros. Plus strength, not once. <laughs> I mean, you had plenty of other players, like there was some plus agility, there was just some like three and four skill, solid normal players. Enormous. Hey, I had a bunch of normals. I agree with local. I agree. You you blot you blitz him, right? You blitz that centaur, and then you grab the edge, and he has nobody who can get to you. Yes, you kill him now. Even if you push him back, you can push him back where he's not going to be in a good position. He's doing it. Oh yes. There it is. Mighty blow. Stun. Ah! Stun yeah, you have the edge Joe now. Mendes. You can do what you want. Yeah. Yeah, you can Although I thought for sure he'd be going left one more square, but I guess you tie up yeah, the hobgoblin, make sure he can't this, yeah. one die something. So, but, but now Dixie Bell maybe will have to stick there to the hobo. And the kicker may kick his, well, blizzards, balls, I don't know. Well, you, you move them, and then you probably want the Crocs to knock to provide, because none of those guys have guard up there, and then you can take shots on yeah. the... this one. I'm a little scary. afraid of the Crocs failing Ooh. something, but Kazarik Oh, throws... he's really good this half. He had a super bad half. Really? Yeah, yeah. And now he has a good half. Kazarik blocks with his Crocs much more than I do, for better or for worse. And this is a bad position for... Rolo Chester, oh my god, this is awful. Say it's a bad position for Gal Duet in general. They've really overplayed their hand being in the center and just gotten outflanked. Time to try to dodge the dwarf? No! It's two dodges. Yeah, you still have four oh. turns though. I think if you can just blitz Everett through and I guess. No, you can't really go through the top, you can't go through the middle. The problem is, again, Everett Paulson in the first lizard drive last uh, half, in the first half, he was stuck at the very same spot there Feels on like the it. opposed side of the ball on uh, around midfield and he stayed there. Now, if he just could find a way to bring him back, because now it's really tough to do it. He do shouldn't you, even be there. Do you one die yep. Boozer and then 
break free with Everett. Yeah, you need Everett. to do this. Yeah. You need to one d him, then break the break the cap. But there's no other way. He's just in the wrong position there. Oh, just no. throwing a block, no. and now he's gonna oh, be stuck no. there. Yeah, that's that's gonna be really tough that's for Galley to do. get back in this. Yeah, no, without him, I don't know. I was gonna say, do you think he might just be trying to put a little bit of pressure, make him score, and then try to get it back on his? No, how can he make him score? There's no pressure. Now? Yeah. It's over, dodge, uh, dodge the couple of hobgoblins out, push him back, and then get punched in the face by a Saurus. I mean, sure. It's basically a positional game lost at this point. Let's see if there's something we could do. But ever pulls him just in both defensive drives he was on the wrong spot the entire time. Yeah, this has been a recurring theme. The lizards going down the bottom and the bull centaurs not being positioned and then they had to try to dodge their way through or still stuck up on a skink or something. So we'll see if Galley can find some way to bring this back. Yeah, he's gonna need some dice now. RJ Randall for the rescue. Do you think he one dies the Saurus down there, then moves the blocker onto the two skinks? No, he does something different. Almost doesn't work out. I guess he's trying to keep the Bull Centaur free next turn, is my guess. Or you're trying to set up a two die on the Saurus, which can help you next turn. Look, when a, when a game is advanced, at an advanced stage like that, and the positional game or the cast battle is lost, I usually put on the the song of Ela, you know, um, it's over. And the dice aren't helping him here. Yeah, uh, it's over. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm not sure you can say bro to that. That's a negative two die uphill. <laughs> like, if you're gonna troll that block, like, you should have done it with your guy who's about to get surfed, right? Yeah, right. Sure. Well, he doesn't. He will so have, much, like, but... five lizards, four protecting the ball, and the ball is totally out of reach. How many fouls are we at? Can he foul uh, Joey? No fouls. He's they can a all foul whatever they one want. They each so far. One each. One each. Oh. One each. We will see what. So you could oh, even yeah. stomp concert, please. All fifth inspect. I mean, I'm down. <laughs> Move knob down to column one, put one skank in front of him, then you have one more to foul with. Oh, sweet, now he can put the crocs wherever he wants, oh my god. On both bobos, maybe. This spot between his locker and the hobos, oh no. Well, I suppose he'd rather him fail this turn than last turn when he threw that nice And block. there will be a serve, oh my god, what a turn. And a big foul on Mendez coming up again. We just stay there with the ball. Oh my god. No, you gotta move that ball closer. That's good. You gotta get out of range of everybody. Yeah. Column one, put one guy in front of him. Don't foul. Yeah, I'm sorry, who just said that? Foul. Who just said that? Oh. Who, who, who? Dude, that's our Do not foul. Why? Why would you not? Why? There's no reason not to foul. What's the reason to foul? That 7-4 is going to come at you. Yeah, he's still That's just... why you should foul. They're too oh no, we're not getting the foul! Oh, oh terrible. Fouled. We should have fouled before the surf. Now, here he goes, he's going to break through. Yeah, normally if you're oh, yeah, in a position yeah. like this where you are essentially won the game, I'm not big on fouling, but that bull centaur is just good enough to get through there, and there's just enough time left to where I think the foul is warranted. Yeah, that, yeah, that needed a foul. Yeah, and it was plus four. Plus four, it's like, oh yeah, I'm fouling an AV5, guys. Please. Please. And then snakes in your toss out. Or snakes yeah, the man, easy we'll surf try. attempt. <laughs> Alright, so Galduet not quite out of it yet. 
We can get a. Yeah. He's got he's got free up that hobgoblin R.J. Randall. That then he can get another die. You have to use the five strength. I'm not sure it's worth it. I think just go through yeah, the little skank and dodge through. He won't break through. He won't break through. It's just so no. Use him uh, oh, other you want, way. You wanted to block the top guy to free up the okay. That right, makes sense. and yeah. R.J. Randall could add an yeah. assist. Yeah, I suppose it doesn't matter how good Everett Polzin is if he's just kind of stuck in the middle of the field all game. Hmm. It's not how big your bull centaur is, it's how you use it that counts. Ah. <laughs> Spoken from experience, perhaps. <laughs> Who was this Buddha? Uber? Uber. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my Man God. of wisdom. Another guy that makes me hungry. Uber and tacos. Like, come on, guys. Here comes Here our blitz go. going through the skink, I assume. Bro. <laughs> going oh, there instead you doing? when he's marked by diving tackle. <laughs> no! Uses oh. the team reroll. Interesting. Oh, but where are you going? You, you hit one of those things. You yeah, could have just hit, hit him already. Interesting, okay. interesting. <sighs> he should have fouled. Hey, if Gark saves... Hey, look, he didn't get the ball. It's not even a controversy. Gark is saying it, okay? It's over, no argument. Okay, so now if you're Kazarik, do you try to stall by running north and tagging Joey? Yes. You can get a yep. two exactly. die on him with Felton but and that skate. Joey, you blitz him. Right, but you have to tag him for the assist. Yeah, but move your guy before you blitz, right? Don't. Unless you foul with the ball, which is the yeah, correct he's play. Trusting him. <laughs> he was just like, oh, I, I have moved. I cannot reroll. Yeah, I think going north may have been a good plan first, but. Yes. You know, can't take Joey down, but keeps him in place. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm, interesting. Yeah, you should have done that you first, can then. Bring the other skin. Yeah. yeah. Might as well cover your bases before you do anything else. But the diving tech already showed he's owning Joe Mendes. <laughs> well, also helps when he's tagged by a tackle source. So, what was more frustrating, the non-serve, the serve fail, or the, the non-foul? The fact that we didn't get both. I mean, the odds are pretty decent for the surf there, even if you don't have block, and then the foul would have happened afterwards, and instead we were denied both. Wait, who is saying close some? I think Teco hits Nub next turn. So that's the ball carries King. I mean, if you get like lucky enough, I suppose. Three dodges. Yeah. I think the failed surf was hilarious, and the uh, the not foul was was bad move. Devastating. Yeah. Terrible. I mean, I agree. Doing the surf first, it was just unfortunate that he couldn't just get a push. I don't know. In this situation, you have no block on the surf. Just just foul. But if you can get the surf, which like the odds are what like seventy percent at least that you just push him. And then you foul afterwards instead of getting caught on the foul and not surfing him. Yeah, but we are talking Joe Mendes here. Did you even know who Joey yeah. Mendes was before this game? Um, yes, yes. I actually checked the league every now and then, and okay. I saw some Wilson Tower games there, some Taco games. Uh, yeah. Got a good record there out of those bulls. Yes, but did. hey, if they're stuck in midfield, you, well, cannot. Can't do much do there. Much with them. Well, and Joey is a one turn threat, too. So, I mean, that's that's 10 movement there. So, I mean, it's not a far out that he he'll can still one turn. True, he does have a frenzy guy as well, although he has movement three. The problem with those one turn attempts with Chaos Dwarf is always yeah, who will actually get the ball to the one turn. It's, it's tough. True. Hey, we got so he's going to blodge here. south. 
He didn't use dodge, so you can go through there. Oh. Well, Klaz's prediction came nice. hey, true. No, oh. You should have gone to the one below that, right? The square below that? Why Why would you search for the... Yeah, search the yeah, square below why that. Search yeah. for the 1D block. No one is click. Away. No, I mean, a 5 plus with dodge is still like, what, like 53%? It's not that crazy. And Gark saying mathematically he would have failed anyways. Yeah, he would have. He wouldn't need a 4. He rolled two Let's three. do a Stomp concert. Maybe he gets it this time. Maybe. Just don't block with DJ Posner first. Well, he's in. He, the, he's the, such a loser. There's uh, the chorfs in range, so he's gotta block them chorfs off. There's one. Range. Maybe yeah, he can get to him. Range. I mean, five plus four plus range. Well, well hey, a... if if it's uh, to win, you do it, right? Yeah. We saw Hawaii not attempt anything on the ball at the end of the first half in the previous game, and it could have cost them. Okay. Ooh, oh no. You got, a, you got a foul time. with Harold. Here we go. Yeah. Do the dance. First. Do the dance. You got to dance around him first. Yes. Yeah. Ah, there's a big knockout. Oh, nah. But Huge. since it's turn, yeah. There's no point of put him on the field with a stun. And he gets the cherry and the cake. Boom! 1D pow. And now, hey, he trusted more with the 1D pow than, than the rookie. Yeah. The beauty. That's that's learning there. That's learning to know your players. DJ Postner is stupid ass. I mean, that's rude. He's probably <laughs> just like a, a young 18-year-old freshman in college just doing his best, unlike that guy. What was that? He was setting up a two die on the other bowl. <laughs> I didn't even understand. This Does story. Taco know how to one turn? Um, I mean, it's not an easy no. thing to do with Chaos Doors, but you do have the players that do it. So, <laughs> class saying he tried teaching him. Keyword try. Well, we're gonna find out, I suppose, right? Struggles. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not sure the extra U was for emphasis or a typo, but it'd be funny if it was. Okay, so he knows in theory. Well, we're gonna find out for sure next time on Dragon uh, Ball Z. Hey, yeah, yeah. do you remember when I said it's over? It, it was over, it is over. Well, we thought it was over, but Joey still maybe, had like two attempts on the ball. Riot. Riot oh, Joey's in. Joey is back indeed. The Bloodweiser babes doing their job on all three players, actually. So, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, huge. Clock turn back or just the standard one turn. You do have a reroll left, so it's not impossible. And there's only one stand firm, to my knowledge, on the Duke side. Unlike my game last night Dark. where... I it thought OTS put on the three. Coach if it's hard to do, it depends. Basically, he well, has the... he has the tools. Let's see if he can execute it properly. Right, the frenzy helps a lot. Yes. Uh, frenzy turf there, so yeah. You can do it any way you want. He's got enough hobos too that he can if you spread could it out. Avoid using the blitz for this, then you have a good chance to score. You don't have grab though, so I'm not sure you can. I'm assuming the frenzy is not the guy you blitz with. You blitz someone else, and then you frenzy him twice, and you should be in business. Or frenzy him to get him in position and save your blitz. Yeah, look there. Well, yeah, G. it's a little more complicated this if you is do the that. Place to get through. Harold Giuliani, this should be the guy. So if he can do the frenzy trick, get in position. Use the frenzy put him in position. You push the bull centaur. The bull centaur can blitz his way through the line. Yes. I really wish I had a way to do the John Madden illustrations where I can like start drawing lines on the screen for the viewers because sometimes you do need to draw this out for people. I so, think there is a way to do that. 
Right, but because I'm broadcasting just the the game client, anything I draw on top of it with another program wouldn't get captured, to my knowledge. But regardless, so, I am near is is just missing the blood, right? Is that right? What? You you posted we paid for blood. Yes. Oh, we haven't quite got. Yeah, there. we have a single MMG there. It's a bit low. Okay, so. Our play for the blockers is, are we putting the frenzy piece just above the, okay, or it's, I guess we're going to the bottom. So we're putting him below the bull centaur, we're going to frenzy the saurus up, and then one more inside. So he'll end up, what, southwest of the croc score, and then we start blocking from there? Yes. Okay, so <laughs> put your frenzy below the bull. Move him so the bolt actually needs to be up one, correct? Up one, yes, it should be correct. Okay. All right, so folks at home, we want the bull centaur up one, the frenzy blocker right here on column twelve, right below where the bull is now. We're going to move the saurus up one from his current spot, and then left up so northwest to column twelve on our side of the field, and then we're going to start pushing our bull centaur this way. And you have to. You have to leave the spot oh, open. It's done. Very nice. Leave the spot open to the south west of the crocs. Of the right? crocs. Yes. So it looks, but it like, looks like he's going for a different. Yeah, I think he's going to come around the backside, push the saurus into he's one of the blockers. He's using the blitz, so that's that limits his chances a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it won't work. I mean, yeah. it's not impossible. It won't. Well, you can't time him out, so sorry, Karzik. Yeah. I yeah, mean, why is that? I, Come I'm on. pretty sure he was just <laughs> jesting. Could be wrong. Jake. But, I mean, Meadow, Jeffro scoring a touchdown last night to steal the game was pretty unlikely, too, but you never know. Stuff <laughs> happens in Blood Bowl. <laughs> Okay, that's right. That's about the same chances, I guess. Yeah. But still, I am listening to this. You know, a minnow might not be bad here. <sighs> yeah, but I just can't trust minotaurs. And they add so much TV, and Chaos Doors are so much better without them, usually. One of my few winning teams was a Chaos Dwarf team with minnow. Hmm. Minotaurs are great, didn't you know? <laughs> Meadow, you were going to fire that guy until about two games left in the season last year. Started doing his job. No, finally. no, 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 no. It was earlier. <laughs> oh, it was, okay. So it was become cow burgers. Ah, uh, but to, right, let's... to tell the truth, my chaos team at in box also got rid of the Minotaur. It's just way worse than the Chaos Tower. It's so difficult, so different. Still needs that third player on the line of scrimmage. So he's not only using his blitz, he is planning on rolling a GFI before he gets anything done. Ugh. Oh, yeah, he's got to come around and. Yeah. yeah he might way, as yeah. well just use the hob then to blitz so you don't have to GFI. And yes, Einir, we Ew. we all understand the old minnow jokes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, usually you want to blitz with somebody that has block, but in this case, I think blitzing with the hob. <laughs> Class. Well, at this point, in a one turn, it doesn't matter because if you don't get the push, you fail. Yeah, anyway. it doesn't matter. So save yourself the GFI, but. He tried to oh, click nah, done, about this. but he also doesn't have three yeah. people on the live scrimmage. Oh, that's going to save him, so maybe that ding will make him rethink this. Probably not. Yeah, no, I don't do it. But we'll see how it plays out. So no, no, no nice, the dice like that. it. If it happens. That's a pretty decent kickoff, though, for him. So he's going to come yeah. around, GFI with the blocker. And the GFI is... Whoa. Oh, whoa. 
that's Wait, not the angle we wanted. Nope, oh, knocked him down. Let the reroll you need. Well, it was the wrong angle either way. But regardless, that means Duke will be advancing to the championship game again. We never would have thought this possible at the start of the season, but it is now down to the number three Duke Blue Green Devils and the number four Fayetteville Bronco Spasms for the championship. I right. call it. Let's see your frustration. Gark's missing a few players. Kazart's missing a movement nine skink, but. Most of the superstars we expect and know and can't say that we love, but they're going to be there. I got to say, um, I'm underwhelmed by the one and two seeds through the semifinals. Granted, yeah, it's yeah. not like either game was yeah, a blowout. Yeah, people are voting us, okay? People are voting like crazy, down voting stuff. <laughs> I mean, Gal Duet hey. was undefeated this season at 6 4 0. Ottawa was a very worthy number one seed at like 7 2 and 1. But... Hey, I'm just saying to everyone who's in here and all the people listening if you had voted Navy in, we wouldn't have we wouldn't have had this problem because everyone knows don't expect shit from Navy. Well, we're going to see what you're made of Friday <laughs> when you play Oregon I know. In, in the, I think, Fiesta Bowl. Orange Bowl. Orange Bowl. It was one of the two. All right, so that's it for us from the second playoff semifinal. Duke advances to the championship game to play Fayetteville. Good season for Gallowit falls a little short, but they'll be back next season with their entire team. At most, they were juniors, so don't expect them to uh, you know, have any uh, lesser goals than a repeat playoff appearance. So thank you for joining me, Einir, Amon, Arkayan, Gark, Klaz, Meno. Roto, Uber, Zedarog, anyone else who is here? I think there's supposed to be another bowl game between Jim and Amon, but we haven't seen Jim yet, so we'll see what's up with that. But that's yeah, it for this game. Schedule. But thanks for doing this, Convict. We appreciate it. Of course, I enjoy it as well. Yep. So we'll catch you guys uh, tomorrow for at least one bowl game. I don't know if I'll make the early game, which is the, the rat race, but I'll do my best. Get your lazy ass out of bed. Never.